young lady here with an ingrown toenail. She's had it cut out in the past and it's grown back and she's leaving for vacation in a couple of days because this always happens at the worst times. So today what we're gonna do is number up and we're just gonna cut out part of her toenail. That way, as I rub it and she screams for me, um, that way she can enjoy her vacation and hopefully not end up with a really bad infection. Okay, when I do an injection, I only do two pokes at the bottom of the toe. I feel like this technique is less painful and it still accomplishes the goal. We spray some cold stuff on your toe. It's really, really cold. Don't feel the pinch as much. And then the medicine will go in as slow as we can do it. That will help to keep her from feeling so much pain. If you need me to stop, my dear, you let me know. Because I'm working on the lateral side, I'll do most of my numbing medicine over there. We'll do a cc and a half, maybe two on this medial side, and then we'll switch. Perfect. One shot down, one to go. More cold on your frozen feet. You're doing great. You see the skin has folded over top of the toenail. It's really pink, it's very swollen. Looks like it's been draining a little bit. She even said that last night it was hard for her to put a sock on. So these can get really, really painful, really, really tender, and it happens very quickly. It's important to get the nail out. That way it doesn't continue to poke into the skin and cause a severe infection. Worst case scenario is an infection could actually go down to your bone um, and cause you to lose your toe. So it's definitely important to get these things addressed when they happen and not wait. Are you gonna be doing a lot of walking on vacation? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> See, I would say hopefully not. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, to uh, the Gulf Coast, Florida, Holmes mm -hmm. Beach. Awesome. awesome. All right, shots done, buddy. Sure. All right, we're gonna put a tourniquet on it. That gives me better visualization to make sure that I get all of the nail out and don't leave any spicules. Also, if we were gonna do a chemical procedure on there, it keeps the blood away and helps the medicine to work better. So let's test you with something sharp. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Good. So we have achieved our numbing level. Now let's get started. If you feel anything at all other than pressure, you let me know, okay? okay. It's not meant to torture you anymore. <laughs> so we loosen it all up. This part always looks torturous. it across the top too. Okay, I'm gonna take a good section because I don't want her to have any problems when she's gone. Maybe. It's a squirmy little thing. And we lay it on there. You see how deep that root of that nail actually goes in there. It looks like a tooth. It's all done. Okay, let's make sure I got all of it. Now what will happen afterwards is your skin will just kind of fold right back over and you'll have a nice straight edge there. It takes somewhere between 6 and 12 months for a new nail to grow in. However, before the complete nail grows in, it's gonna start bothering you. Um, we didn't do anything to change the cells, so we didn't change the way that it grows. It's going to get ingrown again. At that point, timing, make sure that that's good. You come in, we'll do the exact same thing, and we'll put the chemical in there, okay? And that will hopefully get rid of your problem forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna adjust it real quick. A little bit of antibiotic ointment, actually a lot, so it doesn't stick. 
once the blood seeps out and it dries in there, look at it. Oh, that's kind of funny looking. It's like a little volcano. <laughs> um, if the blood dries on there, it sticks and you have a harder time getting the dressing off. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you are more of a bleeder, we'll let you sit here for a few minutes. We don't want you walking around and bleeding everywhere. So I'm gonna put this dressing on just a little bit tighter and then the girls will come back in and change it for me, okay? You did great. We would never want to leave a dressing on this tight. It would cause severe pain when you get home and it would cut circulation off to your toes. So we'll do it just for a few minutes and then change it out, okay? Right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like gory videos like this with little blood droplets oozing out, make sure that you find us on YouTube, Lexington Podiatry, and subscribe to our channel.